Hello and welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. Kabawabi and I are back today and we're very excited. Finally, after, uh, well, six months, almost on the dot. Six months ja later. January 25th, uh, these trading cards I sent off to CGC and they came back uh, June, let's see, what is it, be 27th, mm -hmm. right? Um, I actually showed up on a Sunday, which is a little little weird, but, uh, you know, we'll we'll take it. Uh, one little ding, I don't know if you can see that, to the box. Uh, I, I'm not worried about it. I think we're good. Plenty of packing. Um, sealed. They do a good job. CGC knows how to pack. Yeah. Uh, 16 cards. So, here we go. You here ready? Go. Are we ready? Six months in the waiting. Uh, this is... Now this is our first batch of cards back from CGC, right? This will be our only one. Yeah, because we had some PSA. Uh, yeah, we can see those in the background here. We got like Mewtwo on oh. the side and Zapdos. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Uh, I'm haven't. Uh, I haven't graded too many um, trading cards, so this is going to be fun. The three we graded got a nine, a nine, and an eight, though. So. Well, I'm glad somebody knows what they're doing, because I I'm not a good card grader, not at that uh, that level. Comics I can get pretty close on, and uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Pretty well, pretty well packed. Box in a box. So what we're looking for here is just really anything above an eight would be fantastic. I doubt we'll see tens, because like in comics, those are just kind of oddballs. Are they really all uh... hard to get? It's been a long time. Pokemon? Is that what they These are? are all Pokemon cards. All po Pokemon. Okay. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. That'd be a good Pokemon. That, that sounds like a Garbage Pail Kids card. Well, that's it probably is. That's Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, let's see. Let's see. They really... Looks like this. Just we can looks... tell that this hasn't been broken into before. That's really Yeah, good. it is uh, hermetically sealed. Oh. oh, now this is really cool. Wow. This is really neat. So we did definitely did not have anything like this from PSA. No, that's I wanna, impressive. Yeah, I don't want to tip it over too far. I don't want to fall out, but that is really neat. I think I'm just going to... That's a cool display. Uh, these are facing backwards, and again, I didn't look, so I'm just going to go take them. I vaguely remember a couple of things here. We had... If you watched the PSA video, we had a Dark Dragonite that didn't get graded. I know oh, we sent that right. one in. And a couple more base set hollows, I believe, too. So this this makes it good for our video, too. It just does. putting in those. We'll keep these trays. That's, that's a really good storage deal right there, I think. Well, grab one, Cubby. We'll All just right. do it like we do the card packs. We each get you eight, You want to start right? from the right or the left? Uh, your call. You pick it out of the middle. I don't care. Let's start with the left first. These look nice. It does. All right. First grade. Da, 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 da. Okay. An 8.5. Zapdos. On a base set Zapdos. So that's really good. One thing that CGC does more than PSA is they do the subgrades. So you have an option if you want to see like the centering, the corner, the surface. But overall, like, you don't see 8.5s or 9.5s on PSA super often. Well, CGC, this is what I've seen out there on the net, so take that for whatever it's worth. But CGC mm -hmm. is supposed to be stricter grading, is, is, I what, so. is what everybody's saying. CGC and um, Beckett, I believe, are the two. Are those the two? Now, I, yes, because trading cards, I don't know. I don't know, like, the comics. Um so I'll, I'm just going to put him there for now. Yeah, good first. All right, I'm just going to go here. We'll knock this row down. Got it? Yep. All right. Oh, boy, those are not going to fall out. And I've got... Another 8.5. 8.5. Oh, am I... There you go. There we go. Got it in the camera now. Alakazam. This is a base set Alakazam. Yep. Holographic. Another good grade. Yeah, yeah. This is going almost as good as the comic book ones <laughs> we've so had. So far, so good. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put them back in here. Oh, that's a good idea. And uh, we can show them off a little later, but that'll give us a little more, little more room. So go ahead, take take one. All right. Oh, here we go. Here's our Dark Dragonite we were talking about. Now that's the one. This now, is the one that couldn't get a PSA eight. Is that what it was? I yeah. thought it was a seven. Uh, no, I believe it was, was it. Eight. So PSA sent it back ungraded. Still charged me fifty bucks for it, but they sent it back ungraded. 
uh, because they said it didn't make an eight. Is that right? That's correct. But these guys said it did make an eight. And they grated harsher, so. Yeah, that's interesting. You wonder about the consistency, and I'm, I'm not questioning it, because we questioned it. If you look back at our old video, I think we questioned why it didn't make an yeah, eight. Yeah, I personally said that as one of the higher graded ones, because I thought that would have been a nine, but. Yeah, well, and it's an eight. And the others are 8.5, so there was, a, you know, it was a little, but still, I don't understand that at all. If, oh. if uh, the PSA missed something or we missed something, I'm not sure. But I'm very happy that yeah. came back as an 8. That's a beautiful hollow foil. Because I didn't too. understand that at all why, when PSA wasn't going to grade that. I'm just going to stick in this row. We'll just... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh Mewtwo. That's another another, another Mewtwo. 8. And... Uh, you know, I don't think you can complain about eights. I don't think so. You know, I, mean, I, I get no it. It's tens, not It's but... not a 10. We're not going to get 40 times, you know, market value or whatever But this whatever was also a it. collection that we found just kind of in the garage. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like it was, uh, you know, most of these didn't even have a penny sleeve on them when mm -hmm. we got them. They were all literally loose in a, in a box, not even a card box. Uh, so they got knocked around uh, a little bit. But, yeah, I can't complain. Let's turn the first row here. And this is before they raised the grading prices, too, so really can't... Oh, oh look at okay. that. So here's a 9 on our first edition Rocket Squirtle. That's a good card. Yeah, I don't know what any of these things are going for right and Because now. they're non-holographics, they have a tendency to get graded higher because there's less scratches. Less and flaws, I bet, yeah. Foil. Okay. Oh, another Squirtle and another 9. Back-to-back -back Squirtle 9. And all these came out of the same collection. So every one of these Pokemon cards that you're seeing came out of the same group. And here we are. Okay. Uh, third 9. Third Squirtle 9. And that's perfectly fine, too. That's a really good grade. No, I'm not turning it down. I'm not complaining. Let's see. We'll just keep going. Oh, that's a beautiful Chansey. Color. That's a hollow foil too. There we go. Now I can get it in the What's a base picture. set. Chancy, eight and a five. Yeah, eight point five from ninety nine, isn't it? Yep. Correct. Yep. So, again, not a bad card, I didn't think. Well, this is fun. We're doing all right. Oh, oh a nine, same card, half a grade higher. So, same hollow foil, Chancy. It's another so, piece of hollow Chancy. I think that's our best. I didn't realize we had foil. so many duplicates of stuff. That I, I didn't remember that at all. I always wanted to look, you know, you can look that up, mm -hmm. you know, but I didn't want to blow the grades on it, so I, I didn't. Oh, 7.5 Mew, that's that's our lowest grade so far. Um, oh, I think I see it, too, on the left. Is there a little... Uh, I think that's from the... Oh, that was just on the case. Let's see the back here. Is there a little whitening, maybe? Um... The camera uh, can't see it, but center? there's not really any whitening. I'm guessing it'd be centering, if anything else. That's what I'm this wondering. This bottom bar looks a little bit thicker than the top. Same with right to left. Okay, so it's off center a little bit. That's possibly. too bad, but well, it's still a good card. Still fine, That's still yeah. a good card. I'm not going to turn it down. Oh, there we go. Nine Charmander. First edition rocket. Boy, that's got to be worth something, doesn't it? I think so. I mean, I, I know it's not a Charizard, but boy, that's that's got to be a good card there. Let's see here. Okay. And a Charmeleon. 8.5. Eight five. Five. Base at Charmeleon. Okay, gosh. So I'm going to... Well, no, I can't flip no. those. Okay, I know what I'll do. I'll take this. Okay. Hitmonchan. Foil. Yeah. Uh, foil. 8. So that's... Is that another base set? That's base set. So we're doing okay there. It's pretty good, pretty good. All right. Got, uh, what, three, three left. more. Here's a hollow polyrath base set eight. Okay. Not too shabby. Can't complain about that, there I go. guess. Uh, let's see here. Then we got Okay. Nine Tails, eight five. And that's another hollow. There, mm -hmm. I think you can if I got it there, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Another base set from ninety-nine. Uh, unlimited, I think. They're all base unlimited, right? Yep. And the last one is a... Jungle Pikachu. Jungle Pikachu 8. So, you know, for finding these cards in a, literally, in a box, mm -hmm. and the worst one we sent in was a 7.5. That's pretty good. 
uh, I can't complain. I really like the cases. Now, they look very similar, I think, to the PSA. I'm going to compare them here a sec. I want to... Well, that one didn't pop out. But it looks to me... Um, I think the CGC case, I think it's heavier duty. I think it's... I, it just looks like it's a little thicker. And... Um, I like the I like the bold number, mm -hmm. you know, where you can see the grade right away. You know, you don't have to go it, and it's not bad here on PSA, but I I like that CGC label. I think is a lot easier to read, and you can see it's a little taller. I like how in the C or the PSA one, you can kind of see it's like the plastic's kind of cloudy. It's got like that texture on it, and the CGC is just clear. Yeah, uh, also nice yeah. This has color. like an etched um, etched plastic. Uh, around the edges uh, of some type, it's it's done that way on purpose. It's not a flaw or anything, uh, but just just feeling the. Well, see what you think. Lift, lift, hold both of them. See what you think is. It's kind of hard to say. I definitely trust that the CGC one. If I dropped it, it would stay pretty firm i don't i can't say without the psa i feel like that one would kind of split yeah i that's the impression i get is i think the uh uh the shell they call these the shells or the wells um i think this this well is higher quality than the psa one uh and i think the label is really nice too and i would assume the backs let's see what the backs of the label look like um so I guess nothing, nothing wow yeah. on either, neither one of those. I don't think to you're gonna be anyway, displaying the cars from the back. <laughs> no, no, I just, you know, I've never had the CGC. Uh, I like it that they use the same, that CGC is using the same color system the way it looks that they do on the uh, comic books. So blue is the universal uh, grade, and I'm assuming they have a purple, yellow, green, and and some other things, uh, you know, for some different uh, varieties of things restored and autographed and, and stuff like that um but boy i i really like those uh i think i'm going to stick at least for now i think i'm going to stick with the cgc stuff if i'm grading any more cards and i'm going to look just yeah it fits about as tight i thought maybe it was a little thinner but it looks like it's about the same putting it in there i think the design overall is definitely sleeker yeah a little more modern um boy these trays Boy, I cannot get over those custom foam trays because we just got ours. I think it was just sandwiched between cardboard and had some bubble wrap around it on uh, the PSA, yeah, didn't it? I believe so. I mean, it was well packed. I'm not, yeah, they wouldn't have been damaged. I think. Yeah, it was well packed, but uh, having these is uh, is pretty special. Uh, anyway, that's it. We're still waiting on about uh, 50 different comics to come back from CGC. And as of uh, this recording, I do not have any more um, scheduled grading. They usually send me a notice when they're scheduled to be graded. And I haven't seen anything. So hopefully, maybe by the end of July, uh, I don't know. But hopefully, that'll, that'll get back soon. And, uh, you know, check out other videos. We had a couple of Marvel Ages uh, trading card unboxing videos. Uh, just did the second one just before we filmed this one. Had some neat stuff in there. And um, I guess, you know, keep, in, keep track of us. Oh, we did get the new Chilling Rain in. Mm -hmm. um, so might be popping some of those open a little bit. And uh, just stick with us, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and come back and see our other unboxing videos.